Hello everyone, you're tuned into this Mutual Fund Corner special YouTube edition where we discuss everything about mutual funds. We decode some of the uh, asset classes for you in terms of funds that are available and also make you understand what exactly is the way you can invest in mutual funds. Today joining us is Varun Fatepuria, who is the founder and CEO of Dalit Finvest Private Limited. Uh, Varun, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, and you know, uh, we've been talking about balanced advantage funds. This is one category that has been picking pace, which is not very Old, but yes, still, there is, this is something that investors have been looking at. Uh, do you think it is a good time to look at this category considering uh, that interest rates could come down in this calendar year? And just for our viewers, if you can explain what exactly happens in this one. Uh, so, firstly, Sonal, thank you so much for having me back on the show once again. Uh, balanced advantage funds, or as they are known in the industry parlance, uh, dynamic asset allocation funds, are a category of hybrid mutual funds where the fund manager dynamically adjusts allocation between different asset classes, primarily equity and debt, depending on the current market conditions. Uh, so, as you correctly pointed out, obviously, this could be a particularly interesting time to consider investing in these okay. funds, uh, given the markets have been in an extended territory for a significantly longer period of time. And investors are usually at this point in time, at this juncture, are unsure about where the markets are headed in the short to medium term. So, rather than taking decisions by themselves on which asset classes they should be invested in, it is best to leave these decisions to experienced professional fund managers who have specific views on each of the asset classes and what the allocation should be to each of them at a particular point in time. So, yes, this could be a particularly interesting time to consider uh, investing in uh, balanced advantage funds. Okay, so in your opinion, what are some of the advantages of investing in a category like this? And uh, should they go ahead, uh, you know, uh, considering all those advantages? So there are a few advantages of investing in a balanced advantage fund. One primarily being there is an automatic rebalancing that takes place in these asset classes uh, than an individually constructed debt and equity portfolio. That could be a particularly challenging thing for an individual investor to do uh, as to where they should be invested in at any given point in time. Uh, second is the tax incidence. It tends to be a lot more tax efficient vehicle for an individual investor, uh, given the nature of mutual fund as a pooled investment vehicle. So every time a fund manager decides to shuffle in and out of a particular asset class, the tax incidence doesn't really accrue at the hand of the investor. And they're really only uh, taxed at the time of redemption. So it is also a very tax efficient vehicle. And thirdly, uh, the biggest advantage is it keeps the behavior of the uh, investors in control. I think one of the maxims of investing has always been to buy low and sell high, uh, yet we almost always know that that's rarely easier said than done. So uh, because these funds have an in-house built-in model in place, which triggers a buy or a sell call, uh, they take some money off the table in an extended market. Uh, and then gradually shift that allocation towards debt. So these are some of the advantages that people need to keep in mind uh, when considering investing in a balanced advantage fund compared to doing the allocation themselves. And as you said, it's always best to look uh, at an expert and go to an expert and understand the category as well. But typically, what have the returns been in this category so far, Varun? So again, uh, Sonal, uh, it would be difficult to give a point back answer to that because no two balanced advantage funds are alike. So at one of the uh, one end of the spectrum, you could have a balanced advantage fund which is very aggressive, takes a high equity exposure, and on the other end of the spectrum, you could have a fund which tends to provide a debt-like experience but with a favorable equity taxation. So again, it depends on what the fund manager is, how do they view this product in their particular product basket. But just to give a range, the returns could start anywhere between eight and a half, nine percent for a more conser conservatively managed balanced advantage fund and go all the way up to about 14, 15 percent if it is a more aggressively managed fund. OK, all right. So those are that is at least the range uh, of returns that one can look at while they're investing in balanced advantage funds. Uh, but this boils down to uh, one question. Is it a long term investment category? If somebody is investing today, do you think they can keep it for a longer term? Because the adjustment happens on its own. Do you think one should go ahead and have some amount of balanced advantage fund in their portfolio? So again, it is important to consider this question in the context of where a BAP or a dynamic asset allocation fund sits in an overall individual's portfolio. So let's say, for example, if the investor is in putting 100% of the capital in one single fund, 
so at that point in time, yes, the advantages of uh, automatic rebalancing between equity and debt that really comes into the picture. But let's say if, if it is just one of those funds in your overall portfolio of about seven to eight mutual funds, then the, the difference could really be negligible. But where I see a lot of advantage in having an allocation to a BAF is from the point of view of providing a cushion to your overall portfolio. And I think that is really where a balanced advantage fund really shines compared to, let's say, uh, an all equity portfolio or an aggressively uh, managed uh, hybrid portfolio. It provides that cushion to the portfolio uh, in the periods of extended volatility or drawdowns in the market. Okay, all right. Uh, so uh, in case there are interest uh, rate cuts that happen this year and somebody who's not invested in, say, balanced advantage funds, according to you, they can go ahead depending on the allocation that a fund manager has had. Any other funds that look interesting uh, which, which are beneficial of an interest rate cut? Uh, some of the categories. Yes. So again, uh, very similar to a balanced advantage fund could also be a multi-asset allocation fund where the advantage of investing in that category of fund, it, it adds a third level of complexity, if you want to call it, in the form of gold and also potentially real estate as an asset class. While balanced advantage funds and dynamic asset allocation funds typically stick to equity and debt, multi-asset funds also adds that uh, gold and real estate as an asset class to your overall portfolio. Again, even in a multi-asset fund, you could have a broad range of structure depending on how the fund manager and the fund house is actually positioning that portfolio. A lot of these funds come into the market to provide a favorable equity taxation where the gross equity exposure is greater than 65%, but the net equity exposure in these funds are significantly lower than that because they are hedged using arbitrage positions. So again, it could also be a potentially really interesting category for investors to consider in the current uh, uh, interest rate environment where the equity positions are hedged and invest and the fund managers are have a strong bias towards um, debt and other asset classes okay all right we take that point varun thank you so much for joining us today that's all about balanced advantage funds and hope it helped all the viewers as well we'll take your leave on this edition of mutual fund corner youtube edition but stay tuned to cnbc tv 18 for more news and updates